Okay, here's our 45 cylinder. We're uh, making up the spacer here. This one's done but made wrong. I had to redo my print a little bit because I screwed up. Had to make a do a whole bunch of new dimensions, check a bunch of stuff out here, figure out what the hell's what. So basically we need to have a washer and a spacer here that goes underneath our cover up under here. So that will be fully up all the way. So that's what this here is right here. Then the cover goes on here like that. And then we need our spacer which is right here. Slips over the valve guide. I haven't tried to see if it fits yet. It appears it does not fit. Great. So we're going to have to probably bore this hole out to make it go on, but anyway, it's going to have to go on there. I just used a reamer, it's obviously not going to work. Okay, then the uh, this fits on top inside of our cover here. So the cover goes over it. So it goes over like that. The valve spring sits up on top of this. That's not this cover here. Lower piece goes on there like that. So this one here is complete right here. Goes like that. You go in there, and that all goes in there like this. And obviously, you got to compress the valve spring to get down to the install height that you need to be. So that's a lot of compression on that spring. Supposedly that's correct. So I don't know, it doesn't look like it's more than it should be. Okay, the cover is basically the thickness of a gasket, so I'm going to put another gasket on here. I'm going to do a mock up and see if the install height is correct for what we're trying to get. I already screwed this one up anyway, so we'll just see how bad it is. Okay, all the parts and pieces are in there. Well, why am I putting that in there? I don't need that. I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Valve spring compressor out here. pushing it. Oh, it just makes it. There you go. Probably have to put a washer on here to make it fit easier. It's not much to hold a collar on there, so it's if you put a washer on there you can get a hold it better. Something else I'll have to make. Try to make do without for now. So that's why I was going to put the cover on there because you can't read it. I knew there was a reason why I didn't let him do that. Okay, well anyway, it's on there. Oh, that's why it doesn't fit the damn thing over the guide. Yeah, shit. 
she would like a sleeping hot day or two for you. That's why it didn't look right, because it's wrong. I'm going to screw it up all over today, and I... How many people knew I was going to screw up before I did it? Two screw ups. The space didn't go over the guide, and the cover you can't measure it with the cover on. It's two, two screw ups at once. That's not a record either. Okay. Now I can't get this off because it's pushed on there. A couple hundred pounds of tension. So now I'm going to probably lose a gasket here. But no matter what, I'm going to squeeze on the gasket. Oh yeah, that was a big screw up. I'll get that out of the way so we don't screw it up too. There it goes. The gasket's now got a crease in it. Probably still work, but not the best. Okay, we went on there about 50 thou, looks like. So we need to cut this bigger. Oh, yeah, I'm having all kinds of fun today. Okay, I don't really want to screw up my precision reamer here. See if we use this to bore every one of them out, which I don't want to do. So we better not screw up the precision reamer here. We'll bore it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to screw that up. So I have to bore that hole. Or use some other ringer. Alright, well, either way. I made this one wrong. It's 40 thou or 30 thou too narrow. Anyway, that's how it's supposed to work. So it goes in there like it's supposed to, just can't check anything right now. So you can work on this some more. Alright, so what do I need to check stuff with? Mm, need a valve guide. That's the valve guide I need. So it goes on this one. How close we are. It's the problem when you beat the guys in, they get too tight. So that one fits fine. So let's go see if we can find what we need. We got the dimensions made, theoretically. 
be nice if we actually measure it. So I'm going to look up there in that pile up there and see if I can find me a reamer. Or something else to use. We'll be back. Alright. So here's our cover all installed. And I do not have the extra gasket on there and I forgot to put it on. Oh. It was laying over there. Okay, so we're going to be off by 30 thou because the cover is 32 thou thick, as far as I can tell. So the spring's installed. We need installed to have 1.425 is what we're shooting for, which gives 80 pounds on the seat. And we don't have 455 lift, we only got 4, 10, 15, or 20, or whatever it was. So we're not going to be that high. We're not compressing it that much. We'll sell you about 190 pounds or so, who knows. I can actually pack it all the way down to 1320, which will put me uh, way past what this one is. Because this is a 970, that would only be 900. So I can go a lot more now. I can probably get 205 pounds out of this thing if I pack it in all the way. But we don't need it. So 1.425. Looks like we're up about 450 right now. Let me take a little bit. I'm going to get my caliper in here to read this. No, we're not reading the lip. Get in there all the way, but we're at 475, so there, but... Yeah, I'm seeing 455-ish or so. So we're going to lose 30. 32 or so, that'll put us right close to our number. So we might be a little extra according to the caliper, but I don't think the caliper's measuring. On the flat part, it's probably up on the radius a little bit. But either way, we're in the ballpark. It's not too critical of a number because we got way more than we need. Both tension and clearances. So that's what it looks like. And if we had the cover on there, it would be sitting right here. Excuse me, it actually would be way down here. It would be sticking out there about that far. So. And, oh, I know why this is off because I cut that too short. That's why we're way too much money. Probably is close to that 470. Yeah, it would be. 470 probably is correct. Can't get in there all the way. Yeah, yeah because I cut uh, 45 thou too much off of that. Or 40, 40 thou too much. 40 and 30, it'd be 70. It'd be short then, wouldn't be enough clearance. Supposed to be 425. Yeah. Somewhere in the ballpark. We'll make one correct and come back and measure it. How's that? That'd be something different. Do it correct. <laughs> what do you want to do that for? Well, either way, we've got a lot of extra clearance. We can go 50 thou either way, it wouldn't make any difference on this motor. This is supposed to be 85. 845 is what we're supposed to be at, I think. Where's that number? Yep, 845 is we're supposed to be at. We're at 808. So it's 37 thou off. Plus 30, plus 20. Yeah, we're about 15 thou short overall numbers. Not sure why we're short, but oh well. It's supposed to be 845 on a height. Um, yeah, I think we're coming up short for some reason. Hard to get good help. 
All right, we need to make more of these. This time don't screw them up. That'll be fun to do, huh? What if we can handle that? Probably not. We'll give it a try. I found me my extra carbide tip reamer. Could have spares. Learned that a long time ago. Everything you have, you better have extras of. So this is my, where is my reamer? There it is. There's my adjustable carbide tip reamer extra. See this one I had to made all the bushings on it yet. It's just, it's just one I have in case I need it. So I put this at the three thou oversize and it goes on the guides tight. It goes on, so it'll work. All right, so this is the piece we cut off. So I'm gonna put the big bar in the back of the lathe here and make us some new parts. We need to make eight of them. All the same. Yeah, we get four all the same would be nice. Alright, our first one. And I lost my scale. Great. Very important tool to have. I need 1.3 inch, 1 point, 2 inch of that actually, I forget. Yeah, 1.2, 1.3, close enough. Go by memory. It's a good way to make custom parts. Go by memory. What could possibly go wrong with that? Lost our camera. 
Oh well. Alright, what size we got here? We'll go down to whatever size that is. A lot more we got. Bigger cuts. Sixteen on the mic. Twenty and a half, so we got four thousand to go. Base off of our length. Two 
the corner. Might be snug. Five thousand uh, or two ninety five. Oh well, I'll live with that. Okay, so now I got to bore the hole out. So I'm gonna put a center drill on there to recatch the center. This is a center drill, so it puts things pretty center when you put them in there. Put that in there. The hole that's there, if you know it's flopping around, it's not concentric because I'm chucking up on raw material over here. This is raw material, so it's not turned square. This is. So if I rechuck on this, I'll be pretty close. But chucking up on that crap, it varies a little bit. So this cutter here, let me catch the center point for me. Right down in here. Bounce it around a little bit, give it a catch of center. And then once you catch your center, you throw it on through. And you can see how the center is going to retalk. your drill in there. You have half a chance of going in a square or concentric in this case. Right in there. Okay, we go at 1.2 inches. We're figure out 1.2 inches uh, here. Looks like we have uh, about one three to the edge of this. So we take off 1.2, that'll be 2.2, 2.1. So we drill it down to your 2.1 way over here. Right there, and you got that deep. That's not correct. Way too much. It's hard to look through the camera and do this measurements. Okay. 1.2 inches. Yeah. 3.1. Yeah, it looks better. For an inch off of the last one. Alright, let's run this thing through. Yeah, 
Right, he knows where you're at. You're at four. Let me get down to one. Three more chances to go. Three chances to go. Three chances to go. Three chances to go. Three chances to go. Used to have a valve guide. Here's one. Fits in the hole. So, so that fits. All right, that one's done. So now we got to we got to cut that off, and then we'll do the uh, we'll cut it down to length and do the bore on the back side. So first thing I do right now is flip this around. We're gonna cut that end over there. That way we won't have none of this ugly blue over here to confuse us on what that means. Because I don't know what the stupid color codes mean. I just read whatever's on the bar, I guess. So it's more efficient if you do it from both ends. Yeah. 